Get up, you! If we had the advantage, to be fair, I'd rather have the advantage. I'd rather have the advantage there, to be fair. I'd rather have had the advantage. Okay. Uh, in the fridge. Where Ryan McCallum after his final game for Pennycook. Ryan, talk us through the game today. Um, it's a tough game. Uh, three two, obviously the scoreline. Two teams that wasn't much in the game through the start. A um, couple of goals that, from our point of view, weren't great, but we did score two at the other end. But it had the kind of end of, end of season feel about it. Um, but oh no, it's been a decent season for us, so we'll not read too much into that game. Your two goals today took you to second highest scorer in the club's modern history. How do you feel about that? It's something it's I'm proud of. Um, I've been here four years, so it's been good to be a part of it. Um, when I signed, I think we're in the Premier League, and I think I'm leaving the club in a better position than they were when I came here, but it's a great club. Um, but it's a record that I'm quite proud of, so yeah, no, I'm happy with that. And how did you on the first day of the season when you were first appointed captain? How do you feel you've done in the role this year? It's been good. Um, I mean, not much has changed. As I said to you back then, that I wouldn't really change. I would just kind of go with what I felt and continue to try and be professional and get on with it. And it's a great club to be part of and to be captain was, was an honour this season. So I've enjoyed it. Um, and whoever takes over next season, I'm sure will do a good job. You going to miss it? Time will tell. Um, I've got a lot of commitments now with family and with work and things like that. So time will tell whether I miss it. But I'll miss, I'll miss the club and I'll miss playing football on Saturday. Um, and I'll see if I can find enjoyment in other things and we'll see how it goes. Thank you, Ryan. No worries, thanks. With manager Johnny Harvey for the final time this season. A 3-1 defeat here today to Walkie United to round off the season. Johnny, talk us through that. Um, disappointing end of the, the league campaign, a defeat and obviously the way we've finished the the last two weeks of the season has been really disappointing. I wish we stopped after 26 games. <laughs> but how did the game go today? I thought I thought we started really well. Um, we were on top in the game, passing the ball about pretty well. Um, but I think if you look at all three goals, errors again. Um, the three individual errors for the goals that we conceded. Um, and to be fair to Lockie, they created more chances first half. They could have maybe scored another couple of goals. Um, we were just switched off at times. Um, but second half credit to the boys were were trailing at half time um, and we, we come out and we give it a real we give it a real go. Um, I just think see when teams have got confidence like we had for that period for what, maybe October right through until March, you know, four or five months where we were playing with real confidence, we chances that we were getting were going in and the breaks when we were defending, we were getting them, and you need that, of course you need that, and we got a, a huge bit of that in that period where we were doing really well. Last couple of weeks that's went, um, Monty's had one that's dropping his foot right on the goal line, and he, he just can't find his feet to get it in, and chances that we've had, and the pressure we put, we put them under, and we just couldn't get that goal, and then it's Sod's Law, we score to make it 3-2, and we've got, we're into injury time, and then we've got an onslaught on at their goal, and see if we get that goal earlier, 
it gives us impetus to go on and try and win the game, um, especially when it was uh, it was two one. We had a chance to, to get a, an equaliser. I think I think we would have went on and won the game. Um, no two ways about it. I thought we were we were definitely equal to Lockheed, if not better, in regards to the way we went about our business. Um, they had a wee bit of cutting edge um, when they broke on us. Um, they, they put numbers forward. Um, they got beyond us. They, they run off the back of us, um, and they caused us problems. So no, fair play to them. And, uh, I wish them all the best for the season. I, I thought they, they put up a, a decent performance as well. So Ryan McCallum's two goals today yeah. saw him get man of the match, and that put some second highest goal scorer in the club's recent history. Yeah. Just how big a miss is him and Noble going to be for next I'm season? I'm actually quite glad now that you're saying second highest goal scorer in this history. It's probably a good thing in case he caught me. Uh, no, nah, he's got to be a massive miss. Just say to to um, Ryan and Ryan McCallum and. Stevie Noble in the dressing room. It's so, alright, his players were losing them. Eh? I, um, I appreciate everything that they've done this season in regards to the way they go about their business. Two two junior guys that have had a really good junior career. Um, the way they train, the way they are professionalism around the dressing room and the way they lead by example. Um, so I'm, go I'm going to miss them in a number of ways. Um, but I wish them all the best. Um, football goes on but um, it's my job to, to make sure I replace them um, and I'm already kind of I've been making moves to do that but there's no two ways about it I'm hugely disappointed to lose the two of them I would love a phone call tomorrow to say that they're not going to bother retiring um, but um, they've made their minds up I have to respect that um, and I need to move on uh, but nah, uh, well done to them on a, a terrific junior career the both of them um, and I wish them all the best and hopefully they're up supporting the boys next season there's another three players played their final game potentially yeah. with the Scots and Sam Jones loan spells now coming to an end. Yeah. What are your thoughts on their seasons? Seasons, I think, um, if we analyse where they were as players when they came in, they were excellent players when they came in. I think they're leaving as better players. Um, they're still young guys. Um, they'll maybe be disappointed at. <sighs> they might be disappointed at the lack of game time at times that they've had, but. For me, I think they've played a lot, um, they're young young guys and I think we've developed them as players. Um, they've had a tasty junior football, adult football um, and I'm, I'm under no illusions. I think the three of them will go on and have excellent careers, whether it be junior level or it's uh, senior level with Berwick or somebody else. I think the three of them have got the potential long term to do that. Um, but no, again, three excellent players to work with, the way they've went about their business, so professional, um, great lads and work extremely hard at training and in the games and they've also got that wee bit of quality so um, I'll be I'll be monitoring that situation over the summer and uh, whatever happens I wish them all the best as well. There's also the two guys that are retiring that weren't here today um, and it's important that I mention them again so Billy Bald, obviously Billy Bald, he, he was here when I signed as a player and uh, excellent goalkeeper, uh, one, of, one of Perry Cook's best goalkeepers um, and a great lad again um, very vocal, really good at organising his defence. Again, retiring a wee bit too young, um, but we have to wish him all the best. And I'm sure Big Billy will be back here supporting the boys. Um, he's got a lot of affection for Penny Cook. So, um, and then Ryan Gay. I got a message for Ryan last last Saturday, um, just explaining that he will be supporting the boys. Um, he will be back next season. He's, uh, I think, he's got the most most appearances for the club. Um, and what a terrific achievement as well. I, I was here as a player when Ryan signed and right away you could see the quality he had. Um, I think he, he set up maybe 90% of my goals, so I've got a lot to thank him for. But um, again, the club needs to, the, the club needs to move on um, and we wish these guys all the best in, in whatever they, they're going to do in the future. Today was obviously the final match of the season. Can you sort of sum up your thoughts on the overall campaign? Yeah. An excellent season, <laughs> make no mistake about it. If you, um, I think as a, a team you're analysing on your league campaign, I don't think cup, cup competitions are bonuses and by the way make, make no mistake about that either. Cups were a massive priority of mine, I wanted to win a cup this season. Um, we're finishing the last 16 of the three cups which is uh, disappointing. I think the Scottish Cup run was good. Um, we got to the last 16 and we were, we were beat by a team that we, we matched on the day and we just fell a wee bit short on the luck side I think. Um, it could have went either way um, and I'm sure 
sure Rob Roy would have said that as well on the day it could have went either way we were really at the top of our form at that point but Rob Roy's going to go on and, and maybe win the, the West Super League so that shows the kind of calibre of the team there um, the two local cups of Fife and Lothians in the East of Scotland hugely disappointing to go out in the last 16 against teams that no disrespect to them but at home we should be expecting to beat them um, we should demand that off each other we should be winning the games there's no mistake about that um, but if you you analyse the league campaign up to 26 games I was really really delighted um, if I had stopped um, two weeks ago the, after 26 games it would have been an excellent season for me the last two weeks has been a, uh, two weeks too far um, and I'm really really I'm, I'm disappointed for the club yet yeah. I'm more disappointed for the players as I said the way they've worked this season the demands that I've put on them for me <laughs> who I'm a nightmare to work with at times um, I've just told them that um, they deserved more um, and I'm, I'm gutted for them but it's done I just said that as well um, what happened five minutes ago happened five minutes ago and we just need to look on um, and we're finished and we'll probably finish fourth I think there's a wee outside chance we might go fifth but I think we'll finish fourth which is the highest ever league position um, we've scored over 100 goals that's us scored 101 goals this season um, we never managed to finish over 50 points but that gives us a target for next year um, and we'll just strive to do better, that's all we can do. Do you have a message for the supporters over the summer and ahead of next season? Um, yeah, definitely. There's, uh, there's supporters out here that have uh, supported the club through thick and thin, still here today after a, a really bad form. Um, no, I thank them. Um, I've always had a, a good affiliation with Penny Cook supporters. Um, and I would say, I'd say that's, um, that's still evident. Just now, I think I've got a good relationship and I think we've supported the players through this rough patch that we've been on and I encourage them to come back next season. I encourage them to bring their friends back as well. I encourage the community to try and get behind us. Um, I want to be forward thinking. I want to be ambitious. I want the club to go and challenge the top two or three places in the Super League. I want us to go and win silverware. Um, but it'll not happen overnight. It's got to be a building process. Um, and I think if you'd asked me when I took the job at the start of July last year, with very limited time to organise a team for the season, that we were going to finish fourth as a marker, I would have bit their hand off. But it's my aim now to build a team next season that are 100% committed behind what I'm trying to do and make sure that we finish even higher up the league. And we finish with more points, we finish with more goals, we lose more, we lose less goals at the other end. So these are all things that I'll be striving towards next season. Thank you, Johnny. Cheers, Dougie.